A Democrat staying put in the 5th District of New Jersey. Yes, incumbent Josh Gothheimer beat Republican Frank Pallotta in a race there. He's joining us live. Good morning. Congratulations to you. Morning. Thanks for having me. How are you feeling this morning? This was a, a pretty solid victory, but it was a tough one still. Tough one. It's a tough district, but uh, I'm, I, I couldn't be more grateful to, to the voters of the 5th District. And, and uh, you know, it is probably like you. Well, I think we're all tired, and I'm not sure yeah. enough coffee is going to do it. <laughs> uh, but, but, but uh, you know, I'm feeling great. Uh, I'm really honored and uh, ready to just keep working. Yeah, when you say it's a tough race, I mean, you had a huge cast advantage. But when you take a look at that specific district in New Jersey, representing parts of Warren, Sussex, Passaic, Burr counties, it used to be a Republican stronghold. Yeah. So, you know, you're a relatively newcomer in this in the Democratic side of things. But I want to talk about and I brought this up with all of our candidates this morning, how you plan to to bring back bipartisanship, work with both sides and kind of rally people together. Well, I'm really glad you asked about that, and I think, you know, you know as, as you said, it's a tough district. We were the first Democrats to get elected in 84 years when we won in 2016. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, frankly, I've, I've governed the same way that I ran, which is we're working with both sides. You know, I co-chair a group called the Problem Solvers Caucus, 25 Democrats, 25 Republicans. We work together every week. I think now more than ever, we need civility, we need unity. We've got to put country first. We've got, uh, obviously, a huge uh, crisis that continues with COVID, uh, both mm -hmm. a health crisis and an economic crisis. And if there's ever a time we've got to come together is to get this done, it's now. Yeah. And I, I just, I really think we must muster the strength to do it. Well, you racked up some huge endorsements, some of the who's who in the Democratic Party. You've got Joe Biden, Barack Obama, Nancy Pelosi, just to name a few. Uh, but your opponent really tried to paint you as anti-police. So as you're trying to bring everybody together, how do you shake that? Well, we also on that list uh, were endorsed, and I'm grateful, by the Fraternal Order of Police, by the state troopers. Um, so, you know, I, I've always done a lot of outreach and fought very hard to get the backs of law enforcement and all of our first responders, you know, and, and you know, so I, uh, I know that in politics and campaigns, you know, lots of things that are said that aren't true. Uh, that was one of them. And, and I think, you know, now, and we are, are so grateful for our frontline healthcare workers and all they've done and our first responders. Mm -hmm. I think this is the point that we all need to do right now, which is come yeah. together, focus on the issues and focus on fighting for people. That's our job. And, you know, and, and elections are elections, but our job is to get things done. Yeah, coming together. You know, you're, you're one of 30 districts that voted for Trump, but it is represented by a Democrat. Mm -hmm. and, and so you, it is very uh, interesting that you say we got to all come together because of the differences in your specific districts. I want to get your, t your take, though, this morning, uh, your congressman. Yeah. Uh, but I want to get your take on what's going on with the legalization of marijuana in the state of New Jersey. Your thoughts on that? Well, obviously, it seems like the people have spoken of what they want, right? And our job is to, when, when people, when we ask them a direct question, just like we did on whether we should take care of veterans and veterans housing, give, them, give people help, you know, you, you, we, we should, that that's, to me was incredibly, and also an incredibly important question on the ballot. We've, we've got to make sure that we respect that. And I think we've just got to do whatever we do, we've got to do it in a very safe way. Mm -hmm. You know, many of us are concerned about um, of, of how it's done and that we, uh, you know, protect our kids and make sure our, our people don't, uh, uh, are careful when they drive and, and right. do everything to make sure that, you know, that the way this is done, it's got to it's got to be done to protect uh, all of our families.